What is Christmas without a Christmas story? Well, Grim Goblin Jack has a story of his own. You see, while all the little boys and girls get to sleep in their warm, cozy beds before Santa comes to visit, Grim Goblin Jack never had such a thing. His Christmas was very different from yours or mine. His Christmas was very different altogether. So while the people of the world celebrate their holidays, Grim Goblin Jack celebrates in his own very special way.
winter time, a time of cold and dreariness, of bareness and bones that ache and throb, as Jack Frost pays a visit, covering the land in ice. What gleeful mischief is he up to next? Let's see what he has to say, shall we? Every Christmas is a happy time for all. For some, Christmas time is a time of terror. Just before winter, when it happened, the strangers came, they came up to the mountain where I had lived, where my family had lived for generations. For thousands of years we had lived up in the mountains, the clear unpolluted air, the warm sunlight and clouds, the hearty earth below us. We had lived in the mountains for eons, and then the strangers came. They came to many of us, but they also came to me. The strangers came and circled me, and then they took out their weapons and attacked. They attacked me. I had done nothing to them. They came and attacked us before they took us away. Away, far, far away. Hungry and thirsty, for they did not feed us. 
I was dying slowly, slowly dying inside in pain. But these strangers, these horrible creatures never noticed. They took us at last to a place, a place cold and bare, a place of many buildings, cement, tall buildings that blocked out the sunlight. They took us all and then they took me and stood me up against the big cement wall. While many of the strangers took the others away, I knew not where. They took me, they brought the metal metallic machines and they took me by force to a place surrounded by these tall cold buildings. They took me and nailed me, they nailed me to the ground. I was in agony, terrifying, horrifying pain. They nailed me to the ground and then finally splashed water about me, but it did not quench my thirst. I was still thirsty and slowly dying inside, ripped away from my home, from my family, from the beloved mountains where we had lived. I was cold, but the strangers did not notice. A few of them brought out some objects that flashed at me. Many of them did the same. The flashing objects seemed to capture my image, yet it did not capture the pain I was in. These strangers, these horrible creatures, then brought out lights, little shiny glittering lights. But these held no warmth, though they were as bright as the sun. They put them around me, strung them on me, and then began to put other strange, shiny, heavy objects on me, before the metal metallic machine brought the heaviest object of them all. It weighed upon the top of me so that I felt like drooping, but no, I was not allowed to droop. I was nailed to the ground. Finally, after they strung these things upon me, they took more of their flashing objects, these false images that captured the false image of my being and not the pain and agony. And then these creatures, these strange creatures who had ripped me from my home, they all gathered round and round about me, and then they began to sing something very strange. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, Such strange, strangely beautiful music for such a horrible act. I didn't know what to do as I was nailed to the ground. I only knew that I was slowly dying. Inside I felt these creatures about me. Finally I understood. I was their sacrifice. Their strange sacrifice for their holiday. Their strange little holiday and they continued to sing about me. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. And all I could do was slowly die inside. As I was displayed before them, I wondered. I wondered at these strange creatures, these small little creatures who were not barely as old as I, not even. I was older than any of them around me and my children. My children were older than they. And yet I could not understand how these creatures could do such a thing. I was their sacrifice. I wondered at these creatures around me and I hoped I hoped, please not in vain, that these creatures understood the pain, the pain and agony they were putting me through. I hoped these creatures appreciated the sacrifice of my life for them on this strange holiday called Christmas Day.
The creepy carnage that hurt tonight. It's too late. Now you've opened the door. The ghosts and ghouls shall make their home inside yours. How cozy and warm. You'll make a wonderful host for these lovely fiends as they take over your body and gnaw at your mind. What do you know? These spirits feel like a dance, and dance they shall. Using your feet to stomp the tune, your hands will clap, and your voice will sing. With your will or no, they don't care. <laughs> For dare or die. <laughs> come on, come on, let's play. Come on. Do you dare or die? Dare. I dare you to kiss a toad under the mistletoe. Ew, 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 ew. ew. ew, ew. Do you dare or die? Die. Oh, come on, no fair. Dare someone else, quick. I dare you to. Call Grim Goblin Jack. No uh -oh. way! Seriously? Oh, no. You can't you do that. You don't even know me. how. I do. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, call, call him. him call him. <laughs> okay. Shh, quiet, quiet. First knock. One, two, three. Knock, knock, knock. 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 <laughs> Grim Goblin Jack, now hear me. That's not how it goes. Shut up. <laughs> Turn around. Open sesame. Stupid. No way that's going to work. <laughs> Hello, kitties. Ready to play? Yes. Well, now, my dear, it looks like you're the only one here. So I shall reward you for your bravery and tell you a tale. This is a tale such a sorry tale. Child who was left on a lawn during Christmas time, the happiest time, the most wonderful time of all for most. This is the child who was left alone as they cried all the tears on their own. This is the life that was left behind when the child only grow got revenge. For the child had a very special power, and this power was the fear they'd known before. Now the child was so grown but still on their own when a new kind of menace came to town. Guess what the 
that was. Grim Goblin Jack, most wicked of them all, come to me now, hear my story here. Help me get revenge on all those who've wronged me. Go to their dreams, change them all to nightmares. As long as they live and never let them forget what they did to me. Left me alone, left you alone on Christmas Day, Christmas Day. Left to my fears, your fears, with no one at my side, at your side. When the nightmares came, nightmares came, when they came to life, <gasps> and brought me this misery called reality. <laughs> break their worlds down, break them all, let them scream aloud, let them know what they've done. What they did to me, to you. Let them suffer as I did. Let them have no peace. During Christmas time, the happiest time, the most wonderful time of all. But not for them. This is what I wish. This is my present to them all. Reminder not to cross me ever again. Well. See, what happens when loneliness is left to fester into hatred? Do you want to know what happened to this child? Come with me and you will see what becomes those whose hearts have darkened away from the light. Here's a little detour, but much important for sure, of the people yonder who've made of their lives a sorry little tale, when they sacrifice dreams for riches, such temporary things to throw your life away for. Is it worth it when your earthly treasures cost you your soul? Here I see, could it be, Krampus at the door of some banker, broker, or money maker? What lies in store for these sorry fools? Let's take a look at these crooks, shall we? <laughs> Would appear. 
Finally, bad ones get to visit very close to Christmas time when old Saint Nick has had his say of who gets saved and who gets slayed. So here is Krampus at the door, filled with terror to spread around. Here he comes now with his branches set to beat you black and blue. No use crying, no use begging, for Krampus has no heart to bleed. But we'll take his fill here from your hell. <laughs> what would warrant such a terror to bring the darkness from such cheer as Christmas time does appear? Only those who've wrought such wrong shall be punished, shall be slain. Those who've taken from the poor without remorse or cause. Those who harm another in unjust rage or greed, such error or gleeful spite. Nya, 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 nya. They shall see the end come soon. When Krampus comes to show his might. I heard. It sounded like something from my dreams. A whispering voice, almost as if from the trees. Yes, my dear. That was indeed the voice from the tree. The tree which was cut down during this holiday season, this time of year known as Christmas time. Christmas time. I never liked Christmas. Christmas was always the worst time of year for me. Christmas bells ringing high above. Grim Goblin Jack, tell me what it's for. Have I been good? Have I been bad? Will Krampus come and take me away? That depends, my dear. Why do you fear? So many things I've seen this year. None of them good. No one even cares. Have you no friends or family? I'm all alone. No one wanted me. Left me alone in a foster home. Those kids weren't my friends. They just make fun of me. I don't have anybody. What an age to be filled with such despair. Beware. Take care, or the darkness in your heart may eat your soul alive.
now, Grim Goblin Jack. Get me out of this world. I don't belong here. <laughs> oh, my dear. If only you knew. Well, now. Uh-oh. Look who's here. So you have appeared, and you've come to take me as well. Grim Goblin Jack, I have seen the darkness in your heart. Your wicked ways have wreaked havoc upon the souls on earth here. Through such dreams and nightmares as you saw fit to put upon them, I only gave to them as they deserved. Heartless creatures with no feelings or imagination. And here you have a child whom you wish to compel through your words, a spell to bring her back to your world. Yes, the place of dreams and nightmares. So shall we go when this world has lost its charm. We shall live forever in dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Just like before, when I was a little child. Yes, I was that child I showed you. When I found the place of dreams and nightmares. This tale was told before when a stranger came to me. A monster, born of all my fears with the darkness deep inside. Green Goblin Jack, most wicked of them all, come to me now. Take me far from here, where dreams and nightmares birth a brand new world. Imagination bringing forth such power. To break the worlds down, tear their minds up. All these people who live as if they are asleep or dead. Wreaked revenge on those who robbed me, brought the terror to their minds, into their sleep. Brought them nightmares in the daylight. There's no escape from your darkest fear, like me. Grim Goblin Jack, most wicked of them all, show these people the terror of their souls. <laughs> it will not be allowed. You will be punished for your wicked ways. No, if you take him, I'll be alone. I don't want to be alone. It scares me. The fear. If you take him, then I swear, I'll turn myself into Grim Goblin Jack. I will. <laughs> so I'm your friend now, am I? Of course. I called you so I wouldn't be alone. You've shown me my dreams and nightmares with your stories. If you go, then no one else will understand what it's like to be alone in the dark. <laughs> Oh, my dear, do you accept the friendship of this child? Yes, for who else understands such things that which she had spoken of? Loneliness, isolation, darkness and despair. I have found my true friend. Look how the child clings to you. Who would guess at such a bond? From out of nightmares, dreams have come. Well, that changes things quite a bit. It's Saint Nicholas. You see my evil twin Krampus when darkness and evil rears its face. Though Grim Goblin Jack would be rival enough, I'm sure. <laughs> You, Grim Goblin Jack, have shown your darkness and have wreaked such havoc with your nightmares 
Therefore you will be punished for your wicked ways. In trying to abscond with this young child to the place of dreams and nightmares, so shall you be banished forevermore. Banished? No! <laughs> Yet here the child makes a plea to save her friend, this dark fiend. Nothing less than a Christmas miracle could prove itself. So shall it also be that only when those brave enough to call into the dark your name, Grim Goblin Jack, to face their darkness in your nightmares, so shall it be that only then you may come out and do as you may within the laws of nature. <laughs> So that gets me off the hook, I suppose. I can do as I may within the laws of nature, yes, yes. And my new friend shall join me. Yay! Show me, Grim Goblin Jack. Show me your world. Now remember, Grim Goblin Jack, this warning. And you, my dear child, please remember that wherever you are, even in the dark, you only have to look for the light. For the light shines brightest in the dark. Thank you.